mystery of stuff. Generally, people tend to mellow with age. While your college days might have been full of drinking and general shenanigans, things likely settle down after that. By the time most people hit senior citizenship, life is a pretty calm affair, primarily comprised of comfort and family. One New England grandma was celebrating her 93rd birthday, though, when she heard an unexpected knock on the door. It seemed that the local police department received a tip about the birthday girl, and they needed to speak with her immediately. Simone Dumont was enjoying a quiet retirement in Augusta, Maine. Life was going to get a great deal more eventful, however, because the grandmother had a milestone birthday coming up. Simone was going to turn 93 soon, which meant her daughter Anne was on high alert. She needed to come up with a special plan to ensure this birthday would be one to remember. Simone was a simple woman. Most of her time was dedicated to her family, especially her growing group of grandchildren. No matter her age, she was never afraid of getting up close and personal with the kids. Beyond spending time with her family, Simone's schedule had one other consistent feature. At the end of a long day, she loved to settle down, put her feet up, and watch some TV. That gave Anne an idea. Anne launched her scheme on the day of the party. With all the guests in attendance, Simone heard a knock at the door. She wasn't expecting any additional guests, but she couldn't leave a visitor hanging. Her jaw dropped. Officers from the Augusta Police Department were waiting at her door. With a frown, they asked Simone to step outside. They had received a tip and would have to place her under arrest. The terrible gravity of the situation slowly hit Simone. She couldn't believe that this was happening, especially on her birthday. But slowly, something clicked and her emotions took a drastic turn. Simone saw the police cruiser parked outside and started beaming from ear to ear. Against all odds, she was thrilled. This was exactly how she wanted to celebrate her 93rd birthday. See, when Anne was making plans, she realized her mom loved watching Cops and America's Most Wanted. That gave her an idea. She was going to get Simone a closer look at the action. For the police department, this wouldn't be too unusual. Beyond their law enforcement work, the Augusta Police Department was known for helping out their community. Their officers frequently appeared in costume to surprise children. Admittedly, this house call was a little different. Back at the party, Simone decided to comply with the officer's request. She knew better than to resist arrest, after all. They escorted her towards the police cruiser parked in the driveway. The officers gently placed Simone in the back seat of the vehicle. She got a kick out of feeling like a participant in her own episode of Cops, but there were more surprises in store. To her delight, Simone could see some of the officer's tools of the trade up close. It's safe to say handcuffs are a lot more interesting when you're voluntarily wearing them. The officers also took Simone up to the front of the car, giving her a glimpse of their computers and other communications equipment. Thrilled, she cautiously made one request. The officers nodded. Simone inched towards one large button on the dashboard. She pressed it and suddenly the vehicle's siren blared to life. It was a dream come true for the lifelong lover of crime shows. At that point, Simone exited the car and made one final request. She wanted to speak with the police officers for a few minutes before they departed. This was her chance to share one firmly held belief. Simone's affinity for the police department was grounded in the fact that she admired their work. She always felt that the officers didn't receive enough praise for the challenging work they do each day. The officers appreciated her sentiments before announcing that they had a final parting gift for her. It was Simone's birthday after all, and all they'd done so far was arrest her. Simone received a sticker, making her an official junior police officer. It was the perfect way to cap off her birthday surprise and help her feel connected to the public servants she had long admired. A few days later, Simone simply told her daughter, you made my life. That's what it was all about, helping a woman who had seen and done it all feel special on her big day.